We're in the Roadshow Kitchen this morning. Uh, Chef Nick Raybar is here. Avenue N, we've got sausage and pepper risotto on the menu. Nick, are you going camping? No, I'm not going camping, no. No, no, no. Try to warn her, Audrey. She wouldn't listen. I know, I know. Well, you know, she's got to learn these things on her own. Yeah, she does. You can't tell her anything. Can't tell these kids she's anything. She's got to learn from experience. Can't tell these kids these anything. These kids, these right. kids, Audrey. So we have sausage and pepper risotto on the menu. Uh, walk in here and all you Let can... me tell you something. If I was camping, this is a good dish to make. This is a good dish to Open make? Open flame. But we're know. not. No, but we're not camping. We're going to do this over a controlled flame right here <laughs> in a controlled are. environment. And uh, you need you need that controlled environment, right? Because risotto is something that you need to pay attention yes. to while you're cooking. So I actually have a lot to do today. Oh, look at you! Yes, busy, yes, busy. I'm a busy guy. Busy, so let's busy. go over it step by step. Number one, we have the sausage. I'm using chicken sausage. Today. Okay. All right. I'm going to remove it from the casing and I'm going to saute it down. Mm -hmm. You want to cut it in. You know, sometimes when chicken sausage renders, it can stay in like larger Got pieces. It. You want right. to go pretty small. Okay. The peppers I have to roast. Now, roasting a pepper, you can do it a couple different ways. You can literally do it over an open flame, right. or you can remove it, you know, cut it into four pieces, take it off the, the stem there, yep. get rid of the core, place it skin side up in the oven, okay. let it roast, remove it, put it in a, like a, a bag. Some people put it in brown bags. Oh, right. Some people put it in a bowl with yep. some plastic wrap over it, let the skin steam, remove it, chop it. I have a boreal rice which is the rice of choice. Mm -hmm. It's got a nice starch content, it's a nice grain, and it, it cooks up really, really creamy when you're doing risotto. Now, I am fully aware that I'm not the first person to ever cook risotto. It's in okay, the it's kitchen. all right. It's been done before. It's I right. have been guilty of even doing it a few times, too. It's but okay, I like risotto. I love risotto. Me too. And I love that this is a standalone dish. Mm -hmm. So you can have uh, you know, just a sausage and peppers. Obviously, you can get anything you want to risotto, but I love sausage and peppers as a whole. Right. You know I've done sausage and peppers in here, too. Yes. Especially you and I have cooked a lot of All tailgate good. food over the years. All good. Decades of tailgate Decades. Food. Decades. <laughs> and this one is going to blow your doors off, though. Now, when I cook risotto at the restaurant, the chefs know when I tell them, they say, chef, I, I say, you know how you're going to finish this? They mm -hmm. say, yes, chef. Butter parm chive, butter parm chive, butter parm chive. I love that combination. Butter will help with the creaminess, make it a little rich. Parmesan, okay, for a little salty, yeah, authentic yeah. flavor. Looking very, good. very nice. And some chives that I'm obviously going to cut. I'm not just going to throw them yeah, in there. Yeah, yeah, chop them up. I've got work to do. Chop here. them up. Remember, up. I'm a busy guy this Look, morning. He's very, very busy. I'm a very busy we're guy. We're going to put this uh, sausage and pepper risotto together, talk with Nick about the restaurant. And then as we're well. going camping. It's, no, I'm not going camping. Oh, I will. Go camping. Uh, it's I'm, sorry about I'm that. going <laughs> to. Not, not me. No camping. No camping. Uh, back to you. Live from WPRI 12, this is The Road Show. All right, so we are back in the kitchen this morning with Nick Raybar. That's me. The one and only over here. Yes. We are making sausage and pepper risotto we are. this morning. We are. It and smells, we were just talking about awesome. how risotto is a very, very fine process. It is. A, it is. It's a, it's a, it's it, a science. It's down to a science, You can't right? rush risotto. You can't rush it. It's, Not it's at all. one of those things that's going to be ready when it's ready. And luckily for us, <laughs> it is perfectly ready. It's perfect right now. Perfectly ready. So now, what stage are we at? Okay, I great see a question. few things going on over here. Yes. So here's the Can stage. Can I do wrap. anything? I guess. No, no. You okay. just sit there and ask me. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. <laughs> stay away from the risotto. Well, risotto doesn't. It, it, it doesn't. it doesn't care who's stirring it. It just okay. needs someone to kind of stir from time to it time. It just needs to be taken care of, right? Yes. Like a parent over like there. Like a exactly right. It does look really good, Nick. I have to. Say. And what you can looks. do, what you can see I'm doing actually, is as I'm stirring, I'm not scraping the bottom of the pan. Uh, well, actually, I'm scraping the bottom of the pan, but the pan is clean underneath this rice. Okay. The pan is clean underneath the rice, and uh, nothing is stuck to it. Okay. That means I'm doing my job right. If the starch of the rice reduces down, it's right. going to stick to it. That's when your rice is going to overcook. Get a little mushy, yep. you know. Not, you know, you're gonna have the center of the rice might be a little under uh, undercooked, but the outside is gonna be overcooked. overcooked. And that's very common. Now, so, how do you know when like a risotto is done? Uh, my first piece of advice is for anyone that can't like eyeball it, yeah, taste it. Just taste okay. the rice, and then we'll give you a clue. When you taste it and it's almost done, mm -hmm. okay, that's where you want to stop the flame and let it okay. kind of do what this called carryover cooking. Okay, carryover cooking is this theory that like when something is removed from the heat, it doesn't stop cooking because if I shut this off right now, it doesn't go from 200 degrees to 
100 degrees. Right, It's right. going to go from 200 to right. 198 Absolutely. gradually. Right. And at that temperature, flame on or not, it's still cooking. Yeah. And rice is super important for that. Okay. Because rice, if you cook it all the way, and then you start to add back your stuff, that's when it's going to get that's mushy. When it starts. But we are going to add back I'm our gonna, stuff. I so. have to say, when I go to Avenue N, yes. the risotto is always the item on your menu yes. that, I, that I gravitate towards. And it's, well, we're good at it. You're, you are you know, we're you're good the at best it. at it. We've been doing always it for- Always perfect. Thank you. And you can see that those grains of rice are still individual. Yep. You can see that starch has sort of formed this like net of liquid where yeah. it's reduced down, it's getting a little bit thick. Even in the, just a couple of minutes we've been chatting, yes. you can really see that the water has like really kind of absorbed it, right in there, huh? It does, it absorbs, it evaporates, and that's such an important point. I'm gonna add the last bit of liquid. So risotto, you wanna add liquid gradually. It's not like uh, when you're cooking like a brown rice or, or any kind of rice, jasmine rice, sticky rice, you name a type of rice, you add almost all of your liquid. Okay. And they go in in different ratios. So like jasmine rice is like equal parts or like one point five to one part right. uh, a liquid to rice. The risotto is so three parts liquid to one part rice. But because you keep gradually adding it, it evaporates and reduces. Now, I let's see. go in with some peppers that I've roasted, Hopping okay? Which we right did in. right here today. Very, very simple. I did yellow and red. Looks so pretty. Oh it looks pretty. Can I say that? Thank you. Yes, it's you can pretty. say that. Yes, it wants to be complimented. It's a very, it's a very We're loving dish. We're treating the like a child, yes. right? Yes, you have to treat it like a child. It's like, it sounds funny, but it's not a joke because oh, you can't, risotto is one of those things, like if you're going to do it when you have guests or you're going to do it for dinner, yeah. you can't like be focused on like 15 other things. Yeah, no, you're right. You gotta give the risotto your full attention. Now, I'm gonna go in with some butter, and I'm gonna go in with some Parmesan, Ugh, Nick, this and I'm gonna so go good. with some chive. Now, uh, at the restaurant, we do that all the time. It's butter, parm, chive. That's the finish of the risotto. And now you can see how it is starting to stick a little bit. That yep. means that it's about right. Let's drop the heat. Okay, and let's give it a quick mix. Let's give this it looks a quick so mix. Good, yes. Huh? yes, yes, yes. It does look good. And we're gonna finish this dish. Don't you listen to those people in your ear. Okay. I know they're <laughs> saying the Nick 30 show the, seconds. It's gonna be Nick show all the way till 10 a.m. 45 seconds. Not uh uh, that's not happening. We are going to the plate. Okay, this looks so, so delicious. Thank you. Now you could use probably I mean, do you have to use sausage? Could you use it like a ground beef? Could totally. you use anything? You can use anything, and that's the beauty of risotto is the foundation of it is the rice and the liquid and how you prepare that to, to, to cooking it. it it's the cooking style that makes a risotto. Okay. It's not uh, the stuff that you put in it. The cooking style is when you add the liquid gradually. That's what makes the risotto risotto. Okay. And by doing that with a borio rice or a rice that has like a nice short grain rice like that. So yeah, I'm gonna go in with some tomato butter because sausage and pepper Looks goes so good. really well with tomato. And we're gonna put this right on the plate. And oh, you can Nick. see the rice. Nick does it again. We did it again. And it uh, well, we did it again. This is a team effort. Oh, you know, you're very sweet. Well, no, I mean it. Looks I mean so it. Good. I love you guys. And this is so much fun to come in here and oh. cook fun little dishes like this. Chicken sausage and roasted red pepper for those that, um, that looks are thinking delicious. that it's simple. Uh, to do just sausage and pepper, you can just add a little bit of. I mean, this looks amazing, and we're going to have the full recipe yes. over to on our website. Just head yes. to Rocha.com. Nick, you're the yes. best. Right back Thanks at for you, being kid. here. Thank you. I'm going to send it over to Will. And we're going to go camping.